Hello, my name is Eric and I am a technical support engineer here at Infinite. Welcome to part one of our three part video series about text cards. This first video will cover how to create a text card. The difference between text cards and normal text messages is that the message is sent as an image using MMS instead of SMS. This allows you to include more information in one message instead of a standard text which is broken up into segments. To begin setup, start by logging into your account from the desktop app and open Text Card Designer located in the Design section of the Quick Links. Next, click New at the bottom. Start by assigning a name to your text card. This will be used to identify the new message you are creating. For this example, I will name it Appointment Reminder Text Card. Next, click the drop down by Text Card Design and choose which design you prefer. Blank card will provide a blank text card, which you can fill with as much information that will fit. Contact card includes additional formatting such as a section for the date, time, logo, provider image, location information, and provider details. For this example, we will use contact card light blue. If there is any other information outside of the default that you'd like to include, you can type into any of the boxes as shown here. Scrolling down, you will see another box labeled SMS text message. For an additional charge, you can have both a standard text and a text card sent out. This would allow recipients who are not able to receive images to still receive the text message with their appointment details. Standard rates will apply per text message. Including a standard text message will be for all appointments this text card is going to, not just for those that cannot receive an image. Check the Include a Plain Text Message box if you'd like to use this feature. After your message has been created, you can select Save at the bottom. Next, click the Art of Chat logo to go to the home page and select the Appointment Locations Quick Link. Anytime a location is received in the data, it will automatically be added to this list. If you have only one location, you can use the default to fill in the information for the message. Select the drop-down next to text number group and click the phone number listed. If no number is listed, please reach out to support for further assistance. Next, fill out the location name, address, and primary number. These fields are used inside of the text card message. After that, click Change Logo next to Location Logo and upload your company logo you'd like to use in the message. Once that is complete, select Save at the bottom. If you have multiple locations, you can complete this step for each location listed on the left side and a text card will use whichever location is assigned to the appointment. Now that the location information has been entered, we can click the Art of Chat logo to go back to the home page, then select the Provider's Quick Link. Just like locations, the provider list will populate whenever we receive data. If this list is empty, please reach out to support for further assistance. For each provider, fill out the name, title, and upload an image by clicking Change Image next to Provider Image. Do not change the import alias. The image and information entered will be used in the text card if you selected the Contact Card option. After all providers have been updated, select Save at the bottom. This completes our walkthrough on Text Cards Part 1. Thank you for joining us for this quick walkthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our customer service portal for more technical support resources.